Hi guys, what's up? And nandito na naman po tayo ngayon sa ating module discussion or simply mathematics discussion. And sa ating topic ngayon is about conversion. Conversion of degree Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Kelvin to degrees Rankin. And that's it guys. Our topics, let's start. At first, ano ba ang conversion? Conversion is a process process po ito in getting equivalent unit from equip from uh, by getting the same equivalent unit to another unit of measure guys like for example the unit degree celsius is equivalent to what degree fahrenheit so dito guys we discuss natin kung paano i-convert yung certain temperature. So, at first, ang degree Celsius, degree Celsius was named after the, the Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius. And its freezing and boiling point, the freezing point of degree Celsius is 0 degrees and the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. And for the Fahrenheit, so at first, at the freezing point. Freezing point and boiling point. Boiling point. So, for degree Celsius, the freezing point of degree Celsius is zero, and the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. For degrees Fahrenheit, the freezing point is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So. By ratio and proportion, guys, we can get the equivalent degree Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So, by ratio and proportion, so we can solve this one. This one. If this is the freezing point. For degrees Celsius, which is zero, for degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, so this is 32 degrees, and the boiling point, the boiling point is 100, 100 degrees, and the boiling point of degrees Fahrenheit is 212 degrees. So, if we will get the equivalent degrees. <coughs> Celsius, this one. We will compute the degrees in Fahrenheit or so. Equivalent degrees Fahrenheit. So, by ratio and proportion, we can get the degrees by using this one. C minus 0 over 100 minus 0 equals F minus 32 over by ratio 1 proportion to 1 to minus 32. Now, that's it guys. We will solve is equal to C over 100 is equal to F minus 32 over 212 minus 32 is equal to 180. So, by uh, multiply both sides by 100, so C degree Celsius is 100 over 180 times 
f minus 32. By getting this one divided by both sides by 20, so the formula for degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times f minus 32. So, this gone, guys. This is now our formula and getting the degree Celsius converted to degrees Fahrenheit. C is 6 degrees Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times F minus 32. That's it, guys. And for getting the degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we'll just simplify this formula to, be, to get the degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. For degrees Fahrenheit, this one using this one c is equal to 5 over 9 f minus 32 so degrees fahrenheit 9 over 5 c plus 32 is equal to f so this one is the formula in getting the degrees fahrenheit Okay, guys, um, let's start with an example. Let's start with an example. Mm -hmm. For example, question number one. The temperature... Temperature 45 degrees Celsius is equal to what? So let's solve. Let's solve, guys. 45 degrees Celsius is equal to what? So I'm given is what is the Fahrenheit? So Fahrenheit formula is 9 over 5 C plus 32. So we have given. 45 degrees Celsius, so 9 over 5 times 45 plus 32. So, using your calculator, degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That's it, guys. One, one, three degrees Celsius. Degrees Fahrenheit. So, for the next is how many degrees Celsius? Second example, guys, is how many degrees Celsius is 80 degrees Fahrenheit? So we have given 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So the formula is Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times F minus 32. So we have given Fahrenheit. 80 degrees Fahrenheit so by solving problem directly equate which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 so this is equal to what 26.67 ok the answer is 26.67 degrees Celsius. So this is the answer. Okay. And guys, let's also discuss about the conversion of degrees, which is the absolute temperature of degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Conversion of degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit to absolute temperatures. So, the degrees, uh, the absolute temperature of degrees Celsius is Kelvin. 
and the absolute temperature also of degrees Fahrenheit is Rankin. So, Kelvin, Kelvin guys, was named after British physicist William Thomson, which is the first Baron Kelvin. And Rankin was named after the Scottish engineer and physicist William John Macroom Rankin. And the formulas for the conversion is to absolute temperature as as follows. Degrees Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. So that's it guys. And for degrees Rankin Rankin The absolute temperature is degrees Fahrenheit plus 490 That's it guys That's just the formula for getting the absolute temperature for degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit So, okay guys Let's have an example Let's have an example guys. Okay guys, let's start the example. The question is, what is the absolute temperature of the freezing point of water in degrees ranking? So this one, what is the absolute temperature of the freezing point of water? So the freezing point of water is also equivalent to the freezing point. Freezing point is freezing point of water is zero degree Celsius. Is it, guys? So if we convert degree Celsius to Rankine, we convert first into Fahrenheit so the freezing point of degree is 0 degree Celsius or equivalent to 32 degrees Fahrenheit so from ranking formula degrees Fahrenheit plus 490 so 32 plus 490 is equal to 400 a uh, 4 Hey guys, sorry guys, this is 460 degrees ranking. So 460, therefore, the ranking is equal to 492. That's it, guys. And let's have another example, guys. And guys, we have another discussion which is how to convert one unit of an angle to another unit. So we have the conversion factor guys. The conversion factor is equal to at first the unit and equivalent one revolution one revolution guys so in degrees is equal to one revolution is 360 degrees and in region The conversion is one region and equivalent to one revolution is two pi. Two pi guys. For gradient, gradient, this one guys, grad, the equivalent to one revolution is 400, 400 gradients. Equivalent to one revolution as you guys. And for mil, The equivalent one revolution is six thousand four hundred mil. 
That's it, guys. That's it. That's it. That's our conversion for the following uh, unit. So let's get. Let's have an example. Let's have an example, guys. Let's have an example. What is the ball, uh, first example? Express 45 degrees in mils. So let's express 45 degrees though in mils by ratio and proportion using the conversion factor x is equal to in mils though. Mils. So 45 degrees. The ratio and proportion over one revolution is 360 degrees. So, compute x is equal to this one is 800. One revolution of meals is 6,400, guys. 6,400. 800 mils Okay Eight hundred Ratio and proportion So second example guys What is the value in degrees of one region? So equivalent degrees in region so by ratio and proportion one revolution in degrees is 360 degrees equal to one region one region equivalent to one region two pi two pi so x is equal to one times 360 over 2 pi so x is equivalent to 57.3 degrees 